We spent all of April camping around Florida, battling the humidity and seeing as many state parks as we could. We are back on the road now, and we spent the last six nights bouncing around different locations in Florida, Georgia, and now South Carolina. Our camping style has moved quick and often, seeing as much of the country as we can, and there are a ton of benefits to this type of living. The one thing we take for granted are the reset days that are ever so necessary. We considered taking the weekend away from the camera, but instead, we wanted to share a realistic day in the life living in our 100 square foot truck camper. Our home is a mess, our bodies are tired from the fast paced lifestyle, and if you're new here, stick around and join us as we travel the country in our renovated truck camper with our dog Barkley. Welcome to Living Large Camping. Well, we've brought our hammock with us all across the country and never pulled it out or hung it up anywhere. But today we're gonna do that because there's a ton of trees here and it just adds to a relaxing day. spot to edit today and just hang out. So hard to see from the moment we arrived. Cornelia, you are one who will survive. So it is going to be just a quick little lunch, I think some hummus, cucumber, and maybe a wrap, and then it's time to clean up this mess. And of all I should have done. was just a quick and easy lunch but now we have the energy to clean up our mess we have this big bag of clean laundry from our last campsite that we need to put away so we're gonna start doing that now and clean everything else up I don't even know where to start <laughs> maybe the kitchen comes a time clean, keep you distracted, do your bone. Good boy. To show you guys how many shirts I can fit in this little guy. It's pretty good. Not quite as much space up here for me. Figure this is a good time to take all my shirts out and see what I even have in here. Rotate the stuff from the bottom to the top and just make it look a little better in here. Long sleeves. And short sleeves.
So we finally hung up this painting that we got in the Adirondacks, upstate New York. It's hard to believe that that was seven months ago today that we got this painting. It's really crazy how fast this time has flown, and thank you all for being here with us during it. It is pretty crazy that that was seven months ago. We were exploring the Northeast for the fall, and it's almost going to be a year in about two weeks that we've been full-time on the road, which, as he said, thank you all for following and supporting us and helping this channel grow. It's really a dream come true, so thank you. <laughs> Vacuuming time! tell you everything I've seen the friends I've made and then you tell me how you've been look a little closer it's been quite some time but you gotta let me know if I'm out of line but there's some words that I just want to say to put it all straight before Honestly, this is just like a deep spring cleaning for us. We have thrown some things away. We have put all of our winter clothes away finally, and it just feels really good to reset and make our camper feel like new again. It's very easy to just continue traveling and continue on with the next spot and push off little things like dusting under the cushions and vacuuming by the bed, but it really makes the space feel so much cleaner. I think now we're gonna go for a little walk, take a break, and just get Barkley out for some exercise. So let's go see what it's like here at this campground. We are camping at Santee State Park. It is pretty average. There's a lot of people here, so we're just taking it as a nice reset time, just enjoying being in the pine trees and just each other's company. As you can see back over here, it is right on the lake, but these spots don't have a great water view. As average as this park is, they do actually have recycling, which is really nice to see. We've seen it a couple times in the past campgrounds that we've stayed at, so whenever they do have it, we like to go ahead and separate that stuff out. But the trash area, not so pretty. Mm -mm. They leave it open. You can definitely tell that animals get into it and just make a mess. So. Yeah, that's a con. After cleaning all day and walking the campground, we are ready to have a cocktail. So tonight I am making something new. It is going to be a cucumber jalapeno cocktail. I saw someone on Instagram make this one, so let's hope I can make it as good. We don't have a blender or anything like that, so we're just gonna try to make do and let's hope it turns out yummy.
Having a blender would have made this much easier, but we did what we could. It only made enough for one cocktail, so we're gonna share this one. And Connor just made a gin and soda with mint, so. I thought Cheers. she was just making like a gin drink with some cucumber and some mint in there, and I come back and she's hand blending cucumber, so. <laughs> just me things. Love her creativity. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Not bad. So to continue on with our theme of just easy, relaxing camping, we are going to go ahead and just do some tacos for dinner tonight. We picked up some ground turkey at the store yesterday, but we didn't really get a lot of sides. So we're just going to throw some onion, pepper, rotel, and then the ground turkey in. Just an easy dinner. I do say so myself, we make some pretty good looking tacos. And I would say they taste pretty good too. For as easy as they are, it's a good dinner. way to end this very relaxing recovery day is with some cards. It's been a couple weeks since we've played them and just a little friendly competition for tonight. Sounds nice. And we also have new cards thanks to my mom. Look how cute they are. They're very sweet. They have our logo with a sunset picture because she knows that we love sunsets. So we're gonna play with our new deck of cards and I'm gonna kick your butt. us three rounds but Amelia finally won. She played fair and square. So we're gonna head to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Look up above, the sunlight seems like it is 
nice and peaceful morning outside today with our coffee but now we are going to walk Barkley around the loops a lot of people are heading out this morning so we'll see how much it's cleared out wearing the skirt my mother gave to you I come up behind you and kiss on the sand of your neck of you turn off the light Stars in the sky are turning so clear And without the words Guys, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on what is a realistic day in our lifestyle whenever we don't have anything to do, we aren't really in the mood to film a fun, adventuresome video given so much time to the camera that we haven't taken any time for ourselves. We do always keep in mind that we want to stay in pretty spots and do fun things so that our videos are more engaging for you guys, but this was something that we really needed. Just a nice reset, clean, and just, you know, a work day. So we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with something a little bit more realistic this time. We will be in South Carolina for two more videos, so about four more nights, and just excited to see some more of this area. If you guys did enjoy a video like this, let us know in the comments below because we would love to see your guys' opinion. And as always, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a large day. Bye, guys. Bye.